All right, welcome back. This is MDog, and we are once again leveling together. And uh, my goal for this video, at least to begin with here, is, um, wow, bream on cheese, is to see if this spot at 1044 is still amounting to anything. And um, during the day, we're going to check to see if we can get any bream or anything else. Sorry, not bream, tench to bite. And then once it gets to be uh, late afternoon, evening time, we might test this for bream as well over here. Um, and then this may not even be a hot spot anymore. We do have cheese on the first two lines, these two, with uh, worms here on the third one for now. Uh, worms, I'm just kind of, worms catches so many different species of fish. I just wanted to leave this in for a little bit just to see what, what if anything, is even biting here. But anyway, we're going to continue this. I'm, as you know, if you've been paying attention to my channel lately, we're leveling together now both in uh, Russian Fishing 4 and in uh, Fishing Planet. And I'm trying to, to kind of keep both series going for now. It is hard. There's been a change. I think this is over here on the third line. There's been a recent change in how the Discord channel is being used for RF4. And so, um, actually, I should pull that up to make sure it hasn't changed again. Um, let's pull that up real quick. Uh, but last I looked, uh, people were not able to use that like we were to share spots and all that. So um, that has made it harder to get up-to-date information. I know there's a couple of Russian sites that people are using. Uh, and then the forum is supposedly going to be is supposedly going to be usable as well, um, but we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. So far, at least with especially with lower level lakes, there just isn't much updating on the forums right now either. So we're kind of without information. I don't. I'm not really plugged into people who have been playing this on a regular basis, and so. Um, yeah, I just don't know. All right, so we're going to change this up really quick. Let's see what we have here on Worm. So this may be a good spot for Bream. I, I think we should probably come back here and uh, and test for Bream once it gets to be into the afternoon, evening, and, and see what that's like. But we've been here long enough and not seen a single tench bite. Um, and what I'm remembering is last time we did this, we are actually over at 660, which is going to be down here. And I'm wondering if maybe 660 might not be a better place for us during the day. We might occasionally see a tent still if it's still a, a hot place. So we're at, I believe last time what we did was about a clip of nine and we'll go back to that. Just kind of send it out right here and let's see if we can get any tench here in this spot i think this one's on clip 10 which i'm fine we have one at 10 just to sort of test this area and again let's also put worms out there to start with see if we can't just figure out what if anything is biting in this area and uh, let me just pull up the rf4 discord real quick yeah and it it looks like it's still not yeah still not allowing us to to uh to communicate on discord other than voice channels and general chat looks like basically is what's left is that a perch no it's a little crucian okay that's interesting. Now where we are here, um, there may be bream here, but I just have a feeling it'd be better to go back down to that spot we were at once it's bream time. But let's see if we do get any tench here. And, and if any of you are, you know, have been playing RF4 lately and either at Mosquito or at Old Berg, especially I guess are the two places I'm most interested in, or if there's like really good bottom fishing happening at Quarry, I might try that as well. But if you all have any uh, spots or thoughts to share about your recent experiences, feel free to, to uh, in the comments below this video. 
uh, or come by if I'm streaming later on and you want to come by and talk about it, that would be fine too. So this was last time we made a video, we started off at this spot and we spent about half the time here. And then the second half the time we went over down to the, uh, the pond down here in, uh, basically F eight on this bridge. And the tench were definitely not there, but we had been catching some here. So that's why I wanted to come back and see, is this still a viable place for tench? But what I'd really like to do is find a decent place for bream. And so, um, I am hoping that, you know, we may even keep one rod here cast out a little further, but, but mostly I want to test kind of where we down, where we were when we first started this video. And we're just not getting anything so far on the cheese. We'll see if that keeps up. This spot may just be dry now. Um, we'll see, but until it gets to be bream time, I mean, I don't really know of any other places to try right now. So we'll just, we'll stay with this for now. Uh, we could always put one into that stuff, I guess, or a little farther down that way. I honestly have not until recently ever fished on this part of the lake very much. Usually I in the past have fished from this island. When I have fished uh, here, it's been more up and all the way around. Over, If you can see in the distance, those, those logs and stuff sticking out. Back in the day, that used to be a really good spot. I don't know if it is now. It had a good, mem uh, good combination of things, different carp and... Um, as well as tench and stuff there as well. Not bream, but. <clears throat> that was always a scary place to go. If you first get to Oldberg, it, you know, you could definitely get into some trouble there because some of the larger carp would occasionally be there, but. But yeah, this seems pretty slow, doesn't it? And again, it's probably been long enough that if there were fish here, we would have seen something. Alright, so I'm gonna move move my rods two at a two at a time here. We'll leave that first rod up just to give it a little more time in case something bites there, but let's go over here and and try this. Back when I used to fish this this part of the lake was before clips were in place. So I don't necessarily know a specific clip, but you would often just kind of cast from this area here. Let's take the clip off. And this one's got cheese, so we probably I mean, you can kind of cast it just like right in front into those lilies that are straight in front of me. And we'll try that again. We would expect carp or tench, maybe even roach in terms of getting onto the cheese. And then, but there's plenty of other spots too. Sometimes if you wanted to cast out that way, you could catch some pretty good fish. You can catch straight across on the other shore over there, uh, even over in this stuff over here. All right, I'm finally seeing, hearing our our bells go off on the other side over here. So let's go get our last our last rig and bring it back, and we'll test this area here again while we're waiting on bream bream time. Yeah. A small tench so you know possibly there's tension in, in the area but it seems really slow right now it's hard to know with tench I mean you really do need to give a spot sort of a full like 12 hour cycle during the right times to know for tench because they are so uh, streaky 
when you're tench fishing, sometimes you'll catch three or four nice tench, and then you won't catch one for a while, and then, you know, you might catch another one. Um, all right, let's take the clip off of this one as well, and let's just kind of go right up into that area. I haven't been playing this account as much. Uh, and so there might be people that haven't been watching the whole series. Uh, we probably should change this quiver tip maybe. Um, but on this, this is our strongest rod and reel. We have the Fortuna feeder FD 420, one of my favorite sort of lower mid game feeder rods, very affordable for how strong it is. Goes up to 19.5 kilo load capacity. And then we have the Adriatica 5,000 on there. This is, um, this is definitely our strongest setup. And then on our second one, we have a rod that I had never used before, the Kama Fantasia FD390. Goes up to 14 and a half kilos, and we've got a Sputnik Element Pro 4000. A neat little reel on there. And then finally, we've got the Express Fishing Asteria FD130, a rod that I definitely have used before. This one goes up to eight kilo, and we've got the Lacerti S4000S, a reel that I had not used before on there. It's kind of interesting. The premium Lacerti model. Looks like that's a perch. So uh, kind of making me think that there isn't much here. Let's just cast kind of straight in front of us with some bread. Again, just kind of wanting to see what's in the water right now in this spot. Yeah, it's just too slow. It's too slow right here to justify fishing this spot. We are getting a bite on bread, it looks like. Something a little juicy, isn't it? It's got to be a carp, right? I'd love if we could get ahead of it here. I don't think we're going to be able to, but try to get it to go back the other direction. If it actually goes out into the wider area here, we're just going to be at the, at the mercy of the fish on not getting spooled. I mean, we could try to make it to the bridge, I guess. We've still got a lot of line on. I 
I, it's going to be a long time before we have this fish tired enough to pull in. We need to be on that middle island to have a chance. I don't think we're going to make it to the bridge. Burning up the reel right now. Now we just try to walk it down. We're keeping tension on there. And this was on bread, so you would think common carp more than grass carp, but who knows? I, I could be wrong on that. And again, this is a small setup. This is our smallest setup, so anything with, with any kind of size and strength is going to feel massive on this rig. Probably wasn't the right one to put bread on, but I, I really thought on bread we would more, more likely just see like crucians and gibbles and stuff. I was not expecting to hook into something big there on bread. So now we see if there's any, if we have any traction at all with the fish, go up to about 25. I'll just see what it looks like. It's a little bit harder for the fish to spool us now. I'm not sure it's impossible but it's a little bit harder. It may be that we end up getting this fish in. I don't know. It's not near as difficult from this location as it would have been where we were. Well, it'll definitely be bream time by the time we get finished with this one and get back over there. Yeah, we're starting to make progress now. At this point, we just want to keep its momentum heading towards us as long as we can. It may get a second wind here, but we want to make as much progress as we can and while we can. I hear our other bells going off. I mean, this is going to be the next reel that we upgrade, so we don't necessarily care that much about causing a little damage to it. If we can just get this fish in, that'd be fine. I just really want to know what this is and what size it is. Looks like a common, yeah. 
Looks like a small common cart, maybe. And we can't lift it with this little rig. We're going to have to net it. All right. There we go. That's a nice fish for our, our little rig there. 5.3 common. This fish is still on. Roach. It's what you expect cheese to catch when the grass carp and tench aren't biting. Okay. It's perfect timing to go get set up for some bream fishing. So this is where we were fishing for tench. But this is a spot that has been good for bream at times, kind of like, yeah, like right over there maybe. All right, so we want to go with size eight hook. Uh, we don't have many eight hooks, I guess. And we want to try... We really need to open up uh, garlic dough, but for now we'll try pearl barley. I think this looks about right. Oh, wait, you know what we need? Ground bait. Use some of our fake bream mix. There we go. Nice cast. Let's see if anything's biting out there. All right. So we want to put bream mix on. And I guess we don't have enough eights. Um, but ten should be fine. Let's also do pearl barley on this one. And let's really test this spot. So we'll cast to about the same area. Did not quite go full cast there. And then on this one, uh, actually let's use this. Nah, let's use the same, same mix. On this one, let's go with red worm, I think. Just to see what we're getting out there. I like it. Well, it seems like a pretty nice fish. Might be a marker. Just barely, yeah. I like it. And that was on the pearl barley. I'm having a hard time getting our comfort up in this rain.
There's the red worms. So whatever we catch between now and 2200 is just bonus. Cause really, if you're serious about bream time, you're probably not starting till 2200 and you're going till at least 6 a.m., maybe 8 a.m. according to how good the spot is. But after 2200, if we don't start seeing a decent percentage of markers, then that speaks to the health of the spot for sure. It's like, it looks like another small marker, maybe. Unless this is a white bream or something, this is undersized. Still early. These little small non-markers don't really bother us yet. Is that another perch? Yeah. Don't really bother us yet. Now, if that keeps up through the whole night, then obviously that will be a, a, a downer for this spot. But for now, we're okay with it.
All right, it's getting to be that time where we're going to want to start seeing the bream get a little bigger. Maybe that'll be a decent one. Looks like a pretty good pull. We'll see. There's a white bream. That's not bad. Really want them to be up over 300 grams for the... Uh, where the silver amount jumps up a little bit, but... That's our first decent bream of the day. One and a half kilos, just about. And if the red worm, we'll give the red worm one more fish after this one. If we're still not getting, uh, if we're still not getting anything bigger than that, then we're gonna switch all three to pearl barley for now. That was close to a marker. Not bad. Remember, we almost have twice as much strength in this rig as we do the other two, so. seems a lot smaller on the front rig even when it's a bigger fish all right this is an important fish here for red worms if it's gonna if we're gonna keep trying it I think it's going to be a little small. All right, so there are other baits that do sometimes work, but what out of what we have access to, I'm just guessing that pearl barley is going to be the best. 
typically is, again, out of the choices we have, unless Red Worm's doing good. And we are... Two percent away from being able to do garlic dough. So so far, since it got to be overnight, all of the bream have either been almost markers or they have been markers. So it's been pretty okay since it got to be bream time. Five markers so far. Now this bream spot may be okay. It might be worth, but I'm honestly, I'm wondering right now with what I've seen of old Berg so far, the last couple times I've been here, if it, we might not just be better off, um, just kind of doing orders and trying to find little hot spots and stuff at Mosquito. Just seems like old Berg's hurting a little bit, unless again, there's spots that I just don't know about. Although by the end of this night of bream fishing, it may be good enough that makes it worthwhile, but that's a nice little white. Someone is posted on the forum. <laughs> I was just looking at like any recent activity on the forums and uh, someone <laughs> is catching trophy rough 
by using a bait fish rig and gudgeon as the bait. That's pretty interesting. That is pretty interesting. All right, what is that, our third rod? Is that fish on? It looks like it is. It's a little small. If anybody knows of other websites that are actually in uh, in English where RF4 players are able to communicate and are actively talking about, you know, testing and stuff that they're doing, please let me know. I it's 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 actually been pretty discouraging for me the change to Discord. And I and normally little changes and things like maybe I don't always agree with all of them, but they, you know, you I just kind of don't I'm usually not super critical and just kind of roll with it. I just still really like this game. However, I had gotten really attached to Discord. And, um, you know, in the week or two since that's happened, I've tried to go to the forum some, and it's, so far, it hasn't, uh, it hasn't been, it hasn't been the same. I haven't been able to transition back to using the forums. I mean, there was a time when the forums were really active, like before the Steam release happened. Uh, I feel like that is where most of us went and shared information or whatnot, but that's been a long time ago, and I'm not sure how, how quickly or if at all folks will go to the forums. It does make places like chat channels in game potentially more important or viable but even that is split up there's so many different channels now that different people hang out in makes it tough this rain is tough goodness I cannot stay on top of my comfort there might be a fish on our first line I think I'm going to test it no okay Yeah, so to me, this spot is just a little too slow right now. And I don't know, you know, Mosquito might not be on fire right now either, but I feel like you can always, you know, Mosquito feels like it's pretty consistent. So I guess what I'm saying is unless I hear about something else to try next video, I might be back at Mosquito a little bit and see how that's going. We just kind of need to make some silver, upgrade this third, at least this third rig, if not the second one too, but at least the third one. And then um, we need to level bait harvesting some more just to open up more options. Technically we could go, now that we're 16, we could try for uh, like char and burbot at quarry, but I don't I don't know how how good that is right now. And the fact that we don't have fish pieces unlocked means it might not be the best. Certainly would be slow, I think. So we have a fluorocarbon leader on that one. If we have a fluorocarbon leader on that one. Yeah, so we are using all fluorocarbon leaders, so. We've really only caught two bream that are the size we're looking for, and a good night of bream fishing 
you at least can see six to 12 of those, I would say. And we're at two right now. So this is not what we're looking for in terms of a nice, efficient spot for bream fishing. These are not the droids. And if they are consistently getting small again here at 423 in the morning, then that's also a sign that this is not a very healthy spot right now. We haven't caught a fish on this line in forever. It feels like. We'll give it a little bit more time, but not much. I, like I said, I think what we'll do, I might even make another video later. We'll see. But uh, I think what we'll do is go experiment on, on Mosquito a bit. If nothing else, you can um, pretty reliably go after the rough and white bream orders. I mean, we just need to make some silver. That's a marker. We also got a point in bottom fishing. Yeah, I don't think we're even going to put this one back in after this. We'll see if anything ever hooked into this line. Possibly did. Nope. Oh, fish got away. All right, let's um, let's put it back out because I, I do want to know if if Bream happened to be biting here. technically are still in bream time. I mean, if it was a good bream spot, we would have a chance of getting some decent ones. But, I mean, that could have just as easily owned pearl barley. I mean, that could have been an early crucian or something, too, that got away.
All right, let's see what species this is even is. Yeah, it's a Crucian. I think that's probably what the other one was too. That's too bad because I think there was a nice tench order and trophy bream order. But the tench order, you know, would be very easy to get if you were in a even half decent um, tench spot, which we just could not could not get on today. So we did not make much, I'll guarantee you that. 33 silver for all that fishing. It's pretty rough. We're back up to 210. Okay, well, hey, you win some, you lose some. Uh, I think Old Berg won this won this round, and uh, we are the losers for sure. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you know any good spots that I need to try on the leveling account. Um, been doing pretty good at Amber recently, but um, these low-level lakes, I don't know. We'll go try Mosquito next time, I think. I will see you next time.